My name is Graphics. Today we will look at a beam, but this beam we are looking at will be a beam that has a UVL, a uniformly varying load. Because we know there are different kind of loading. It can be a UDL, uniformly distributed load, it can be a point load. But in this case now, this is a beam with a what? Uniformly varying load. First of all, you have to draw this in a free body diagram. You know this beam has two supports. We have the hinge support and we have the roller support. So in drawing this in our free body diagram, we are going to be having this. In free body diagram, we are going to be having this. Before drawing it, we need to understand one thing that we have something like this. A triangle and the length of the triangle is 4.5 right and the height of the triangle is 20 kilonewton per meter that means in every one meter it is what 20 kilonewton right so the area of a triangle area of a triangle is what half base times height now the base of each triangle is 4.5 meter and uh, the height of the triangle is what 20 kilonewton per meter now the meter equates the meter 2 in year 1 in 2010 10 times 40 4.5 will give you what 45 45 kilo newton right then kilo newton 4.5 give you 45 kilo newton now this was 5 kilo newton is the force acting on this beam you are going to since it is a triangle we know that if the triangle from the apex it will be 2 over 3 of the length length of the triangle right or if it's from the base it will be 1 over 2 from the base or 1 over 2 times length 1 over 3 times length of triangle so in this case is when you're starting from the apex this is the apex of the triangle here but if you are starting to count from the base, from the head, it will be 1 over 2. So the 1 over 3 is from the head, right? Which is this. This is for the head. And this is for what? The apex. So if I want to count from here to the 2 over 3 of the length of the triangle. That is 2 over 3 of 4.5. But from the head, from the back here, 1 over 3 times 4.5 so for the, so we have if you have to count from the apex the apex is the steep side this is one two over three of the length that is where this 45 kilometer will be placed so what i mean is this if i have two all over three the total length of the of the triangle is this so the total length of the triangle let's say here is a here is B, and this point here is C, where the force are situated. So since this is the roller support, I'll be having just one reaction, and I'll call it ROBY. This is hinge support, I'll be having two reactions, which will be ROAY and ROAX, right? So from here to the next force here is what? 20 kN which is at this point here let me put it here 20 kN so to this point is 20 kN now that is from here to this point here is 1.2 meter 
Now, for me to know where this 45 length will be situated, it will be 2 over 3 of the length from the apex. So if I press 2 over 3 times 4.5, that will give me 2 times 4.5 is 9 all over 3. So I'll be having 3, 9 divided by 3 is what? Is 3. Right? So I'm going to measure 3 from here. So if I measure 3, the 3 will fall somewhere around here. So that way I'll place my 45, my 45 kilo newton, this kilo newton here. So that means from this point, from here to this point here is 3 meter. Then the remaining aspects here. Or if I didn't use this 2 over 3 from the apex, I can use 1 over 3 from the apex. So if I use 1 over 3, I'll still get, like if I'm measuring from here now, and I use a 1 over 3, like 1 all over 3 times 4.5, right? So what I'll actually do here is this. So if you use 1 over 3 or 4.5, you'll be having 1.5 meter. So you can measure from here 1.5 by taking from the head or you can measure 3 by taking from what? From the apex. So we know from here to here also is from this point. This is 1.5 meter. So in any way you want to. If you are measuring from here, you use 1 over 3 of 4.5 that is 1 over 3 of the length that is from taking from the head if you measure from here you take you do the same thing you measure 2 over 3 of the length of the triangle so we've gotten our point a our point b our point c where you not attach any point to this point d because it's the point you just find out by your own doing so let's proceed now we we'll move forward from this now we we'll successfully solve converted our PDL into a point load, our UVL into a point load. Now the next thing we are going to calculate for what the reaction. We want to know what ROAX is, ROAY is and ROBY is. So what you do is this, using the condition of equilibrium, the first one says that's what, the summation of what, f of x is equal to what, zero, and we are to consider our forward force to be positive and our backward force to be what, negative, right? So let's see. We only have one horizontal component here, which is arrow x. So my arrow ax is equal to what zero. The next one we'll do will be summation of what f of y equals to what zero, and we'll consider upward force to be positive and downward force to be what negative, right? So we have two upward force which is r a y plus r o b y and two downward force which will be since chasing down minus 20 minus 45 equals to what equals to zero so r o a y plus r o b y minus 65 is equals to what zero because minus 20 minus 45 is minus 65 so my ROAY plus ROBY will be equal to what? 65 kilo newton. This is coming to the side. So I'll terminate equation 1. Now, the next thing you do is to take moment. Take a moment about point A here. 
equals to what zero so we'll look for clockwise moment which is positive and anti-clockwise moment which is what negative so we we'll start if i take moment about a this guy will be coming in this direction right it will go in that direction at least it's coming to this point so that is positive with a 20 times distance from here to where i take moment from so we're having 20 times 1.2 Plus, this one too will be coming like this, as if it's going to this direction. So it will be 45 times what? Distance from here to here is what? 3. Plus, into bracket, this one and that force will be going in this direction. That will give me minus ROBY times distance from here to here. And that will be what 4.5. This is it. Everything equals to zero. Right? So at this stage here, 20 times 1.2 will be 20 times 1.2 is going to be 24. So we have 24 plus 45 times 3, 135, so we move further, so we move further plus minus times 12 give you minus 4. 0.5 R B Y and this will give me equals to zero. So we'll move further. One three five plus twenty four will be what? That will give me one sixty nine. One six nine. Abi. So we'll be having one. 59 minus 4.5 ROBY equals to 0. So when this come here, we are going to be having 159 is equals to what? 4.5 ROBY. So 159 divided by 4.5. And that will give me ROBY. So what we have? Thirty-five point three three. So ROBY is equal to what? Thirty-five point three three kilometer. So after that. We are going to put ROBY in equation 1. Put ROBY in equation 1. Right? So, move forward. ROBY, this is equation 1 here, plus ROBY is equal to 65 so ROAY plus 35.33 is equal to what 65 so from here I can see that my ROAY is equal to 65 minus 35.33 so ROAY will now give me 29.66 so with what you've seen so far we have gotten the ROAY one of the reaction to be 29.66 kN and ROBY the other one to be 35.33 and ROAX to be equal to what? 0 so those are my reaction thanks for watching